Yes, indeed, you rocking with Coast Contra, where we're Sound Exchange, and this is Sound Advice. The things that we look for uh, when we're looking to collaborate with other artists, honestly, first, it got to be genuine, it got to be authentic, it got to be natural. Uh, secondly, you know, quality. You got to care about the art, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we have a quality-based model. And um, you just got, we, we always want to do the best production that we can do possible, hands down. So um, we are very versatile when it comes to sound, creating different sounds in that nature. And uh, we, we, we have a very wide palette of like who we can work with. It doesn't, it really doesn't matter who like, it, it, no genre. It's, we can do a lot. <laughs> we can do a lot. You have to give like, who, who was the, so far your favorite person to work with just on, on like, like feature and kind of just like like collaborating for real with a real collaborative experience. Honestly, uh, it was probably be like the first one doing uh, Queen and Slim with BJ Chicago Kid. Right, right, very, right. very uh, smooth and just at the time to work with such a professional, yeah. it was like, oh wow. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? In there, done, efficient. Right. And uh, his voice is incredible. He oh, sounded yeah, exactly yeah, yeah. how he sounds. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Step into the big yeah, yeah, that was the step into the big leagues right. for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now I, add, I would say like Toby, Toby, you know what I'm saying? Our big uh, brother, Toby, Toby. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think that was the first time like we got to really collaborate from like ground up. You know what I'm saying? Like that showed us like even now for, for when we move forward and work with artists, like you gotta really tailor it and be mindful. Like he, he made four verses for everybody and stuff like that. So I think so far we've had a good run with collaborations for sure. You know what I'm saying? Something that we have naturally is is, is our chemistry. Um, and it, you know, that's more internal. Um, but when it comes to our audience and how we, we dive into them, we continue to create a family fan-like environment. You know what I'm saying? Making everybody feel included um, because they are very much included in our careers. I, I fully understand it when they be like, without the fans, we wouldn't be. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? So we, we really, really try to make sure every from since 2,000 followers now to over a little over a half a million, we really trying to tap in with every new follower and let them know we see you and we appreciate you. And that right there, the, the responses that we get are incredible and heartfelt. So we love y'all for real, you know what I'm saying? So that's what it is, yeah, we keep going with that. You're gonna go nowhere if you don't have a vision. You're gonna go exactly where you wanna be if you do have a vision, you know what I'm saying? So when you come into this, make sure that you list, don't just list out the things that'll get you there, list out the whole exact you know, uh, end goal, you know what I'm saying? What type of legacy do you wanna leave? That way, when, whenever you're doing something uh, in particular, you're lining yourself up with where you want to go so you can check off does this make sense for the vision if i do this today yes let's do it nope not gonna do it you know what i'm saying so uh that's definitely key advice that'll be the best sound advice i give y'all in my personal opinion yep uh i would probably say watch the company you keep you know what i'm saying don't be afraid to do your spring cleaning you know what i'm saying <laughs> but um yeah watch watch the people you you keep and make sure everybody's on the same page keep keep it tight for sure Uh, we've been with Sound Exchange, I want to say, for at least a year and a half now. Um, shout out to my auntie, uh, Tamia Moses. She, um, so I'm not too experienced on that side of things, but uh, just as far as like, you know, keep getting the money going and, you know, finding a way to, as, as far as, as far as like new artists, you don't really know how to get paid from this. You know what I'm saying? You don't really know how to turn it from amateur to professional. So I really appreciate Sound Exchange being a platform to start to grow into the professional space um, and start to get paid and really become a business uh, man in this. You know what I mean? So salute Sound Exchange for sure. Thank you, TT Mia. I love you. You know what I mean? I would definitely say don't attach your identity to things that you do. Um, you got a whole life, lifetime to do so much different things and um, you know your, your path is going to change at all times. So you know if, if you do do music, you know what I'm saying, you don't, you don't, one day you might not do music no more and you don't want to have let your identity attach to that and now you feel like you don't know who you are no more. Nah, you, you're creative, you know what I'm saying, so you have the ability to just say you know what, outside of music I'm going to create in art, I'm going to create in da 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 da, you know what I'm saying, so yeah don't attach your identity to things that you do, that will be my advice. I would say, uh, I feel like Lately, I've been coming across people that are like in their late 20s, but they feel like they're super old, you know what I'm saying? And, and the thing is, like, we all got our own time, you know what I'm saying? So don't beat yourself up for, like, not accomplishing certain things at a certain age. Everybody got their own time for that success, for, to reap those benefits of, of the seeds they didn't put into the ground. So, you know, stay at it. Definitely stay focused. But don't, don't beat yourself up, you know what I'm saying? Life is long, and, you know, it's ups and downs to it. Just pace yourself. So, yeah. Thank you.